So today, Ms. Taylor and I are gonna hit two big issues that a lot of people uh, come across and they don't know what happens. And so the first one is when she types, she's not hearing her characters uh, or her words when she's typed, which makes it very difficult to know what to type. And the next one is when she goes to into the browser and she tries to open, let's say her links list, it says, no form fill found or no it, um, it lists found or something like that. And that has to do with her virtual and her PC cursor and both must be on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through her settings first, how to set her defaults. And I'm gonna tell you, we, we are going to set the default, but many times we actually have to set it again in the browser. So we may have to do this twice, Taylor. So let's go ahead and do it. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to your desktop so you know where you're at. Go ahead and do that command. Folder view, list view, zoom, 11 of 40. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the classroom, 36 of 40. Oh, don't open, don't open. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we need to change to uh, your defaults. We need to change your defaults here first, and then we'll go into classroom, okay? So I need you to do the command insert and then the number six. Probably uh, going into math mode is going to be easiest. So go ahead and make sure you change your Braille display to off. Contracted Braille on for display. Uh, go ahead, you need to do it two more times. Contracted Braille on for input. And one more time. Contractions off. Right. So go ahead and do that one more time. Contracted Braille off. Perfect. Okay, so now I want you to do the insert command and then the number six. Insert command, two, eight, and space, and the number six, please. Do you remember what letter number six is, but it's lower? F. Excellent. Please give me an insert six. Did the insert. Great, and now number six, do it quickly enough so it's all together. Two, three. Add new configuration, dash add new no. configuration dialog, application edit, score, type and text. Nice job. Okay, now hit escape, right shift and dot one, hit escape out of there. Because we don't want to add that new configuration, we're going to add it in your default. Back up and sync. Default left parent all applications, right parent dash jaws settings center dialog. Search box edit type and text. Control plus E. Okay, so you're going to down arrow one time and you're going to hear user. Tab. Down arrow, please. Rocker bar down. You want to down arrow. <laughs> Preview user closed, one of 26. To move through or expand items, use the arrow keys. Now I want you to hit F6, please. F6. So one eight in space, let up and an F. User page, progress bar updates, announcement, combo box, five second intervals, three of seven. To change the selection, use the arrow keys, Alt plus P. Now, uh, let me tell you what's going to happen so you can listen for it as you go down. When you tab, you're going to hear that your typing echo is off. That's the reason why you can't hear characters or words or characters and words together. And so when you tab, you're going to hear that it's off. And then we're just going to down arrow and select characters and words. And that's going to fix the issue. Okay? So tab one time and listen. Tab once. Tab one time and listen. 
Typing echo off radio button checked. One of four. To change the selection, press up or down arrow. Alt plus E. So when this, when Jaws stops talking to you when you're typing or brailing, just know that's your typing echo. So you can remind your mom. You can say, oh my gosh, my typing echo is off. And a quick key is insert two. Okay. We've hit that a couple okay. times in between when your default decides to t turn off. So uh, that's another little command. And what we'll do is when we go into work, I'll have you do insert two just to practice, just in case it kicks off on you again. But right now, you're going to rock our bar down to characters and words, and this will set the default. So anytime you type, you're going to hear characters and words from now on, of course, until your computer decides to update and change it on you. But right now, rock our bar down to characters and words. Type a echo characters radio button checked two or four. To change the selection, press up or down arrow, alt plus E. Keep going. Type a echo words radio button checked three or four. To change the selection, press up or down arrow, alt plus E. Keep going. Type a echo characters and words radio button checked four or four. To change the selection, press up or down arrow, alt plus E. Okay, that's what we want. When we select something, we need to apply it so it will always work from now on, of course, until your computer or your JAWS doesn't update. And apply is going to be alt a, Alt A. So you're going to do a 6 8 in space and then the letter A. 6 8 in space and then a letter A on your brow display. Uh, beautiful. And you can go ahead and close with Alt F4. Back up nice. on Okay. That's one problem. Now, when you go into, uh, and now we can actually go into classroom. We'll, we'll deal with the issue when you go into the classroom, but it says no form fields found or no lists found or whatever. And then you just need to know, you need to have both cursors on, okay? You just need to have both cursors okay. okay? So let's go ahead and go to your desktop and let's go ahead and hit C for classroom and off we go. Folder view, list view, not selected edge classroom, 31 of 40. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. Uh, probably not that one. Let's go ahead and hit uh, C and jump to classroom. C, classroom, 36 of 40. 36 of 40. you got a lot of icons on your desktop. Yes, she does. Go ahead and hit enter. And now, when you're typing, you're going to hear letters and characters and words. The question is, when we come to this home page, what you want to remember is you want to go to classwork first, which is a link, okay? So okay. bring up your links list. This is where I believe you guys said you were having some issues mm -hmm. with the links list. Yeah. No. Yep, this is where we get stuck. Okay, insert F7, please. Do I need to press 8 every time? Yep. Links list dialog. Of course, it works. Me, samples match here. one of nineteen. <laughs> Move the items to the arrow keys. <laughs> she did the exact same way she does it every other time, and it works today. Yeah. <laughs> but let me let me tell you if it would have said no links found. So we're actually, usually, well, no, usually it says this feature is only available in a virtual document. Yeah. Or something I'm like. gonna make we're gonna make this happen because you guys need to, to see how to fix it. Hit escape, and, it, and we're going to actually force it to say this is only found in a virtual document. Right. I can't tell. Is it the right shift? The, the one you were just touching is the right shift. Yeah. Okay. We're going to make it. Oh, that's shift. left. That's right. Oh. Okay. Now, I want you to insert Z, because remember, I told you both the virtual and the PC cursor have to be on. We're going to turn it off. So we're going to mimic what happened when you had the mistake. So insert Z, turn it off. Oh no. I... Okay, so let go. Symbol. That's right. okay. You Second, just a right couple again. seconds and then you try the command again. Oopsie. No big deal. Use virtual PC cursor off. Okay, ready for it to say not found? Now. Yes. 
insert F7 and you're going to hear the air that you can't do it. Insert F7. This feature is only available yes. from within a virtual That's document, elite. such as a page on the internet. Yeah. See? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, I think works. problems happen. I, yeah. Because mm -hmm. every kid, oh my gosh, probably the first five times, and then it takes about five times, and then they'll remember. The advantage you have is you have mom's brain there with you, Taylor. But I don't know. I'm thinking you're going to remember now. So anytime it says that, just know you have to have both cursors on. Now, typically what I tell kids is insert Z, virtual cursor on, and then caps lock, semicolon, PC cursor on. But since you know, so just make sure both are on. Typically, the virtual cursor has turned off on you, okay? Okay. Let's, if you turn it back on, you're gonna be able to do insert F7 again. So insert Z, and you're gonna hear on. Use virtual PC cursor on. Okay. And your PC cursor is just P in space if your, pre, if your PC cursor goes off. So you're going to try it one more time. And then for some reason, if it didn't work, then you know your PC cursor. I, it's kind of confusing because it says virtual PC. So kind of it, just know that's your virtual cursor. Insert Z is your virtual cursor. P in space, that's your PC. PC cursor. Both have to be on. You didn't, you didn't tweet, you didn't touch your PC cursor, so it should be fine. So now when you insert F7, it's going to open your links list. Okay. Okay. Links list dialog. Links list view. Samples math. One of 19. To move to items, use the arrow keys. And now you know.